What's up guys, it's your boy Tate and today I'll be showing you how to achieve a pretty cool and easy art like this. <laughs> Trust me guys, this one's easy peasy. Hey, if this is your first time of watching my videos and you're not used to Photoshop, you've never used Photoshop, I suggest you go back to my older videos and just catch up. So without ifs, buts or coconuts, let's take a dip. And shout out to our sponsor, Prophetic Beats. You could visit his website, propheticbeats.com. First, you create your canvas on Photoshop. Next, we go to your browser and search for Crowd Raising Hands. So for me, I have this. I just downloaded that and I imported it into our canvas. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just going to put uh, the art we're trying to achieve. So what we need to do is get this background. Next thing we want to do is get this tint of red, right? So you go to your color palette and you select red, something close to that. That's okay. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we take the paint bucket tool and then we create a new layer on top of our background image and we click once. So we have that. Next, what we want to do is we reduce the opacity, which means we make it a bit more transparent. So we just put it around, um, okay, 72. All right, 70 is fine. All righty. So next thing we want to do is we want to take the rectangle tool right here. Okay. So we click on that. You position it right around here and then you click and then you drag. Ensure. The left side is a bit close to the right and there you go. Okay, so we have this. Now in the properties, the options um, menu, what you do is you click on this which is the fill option. Fill option means what the shape should be filled with. So you have the fill option here, you have blank. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove it, we're going to put no color. That is that. And next thing we want to do is we'll go back to the options and we want to fill the line with color white. Right now, as you can see, the stroke type is blank. There's no color, but what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with white. When you click on that, you select white here. Next thing we want to do is we want to increase this, the thickness of the line. So we click on this right here and then increase this to about, let's say four. Yeah so there we have it looking good also ensure that the rectangle is centralized so when you have your type 2 activated next thing you want to do is you want to click here what do we have here we have what we're supposed to type anticipate okay so we impute anticipate the color of anticipate is red so we want to make it white so what do you do you click on it select all command a or control a and you go right here and you click you move your pointer to white and there you have it next we want to get this part which is produced by chris heaven so what we need to do is we just hide this okay so right at the bottom we click and still using your type 2 we impute produced by chris heaven Awesome. Central is centralized. So the next thing we want to do is we want to um, impute the main text, which is this Amen by Chris Heaven. I'm looking at this font and I think this is Edo. So I'm going to just quickly do a quick search. Um, so type in Amen. So we could just increase the font size a bit. Yep. And then we justify it in the middle. All right, so now we want to change the font. So you just click, select the type two, click on the text, select all, which is command A or control A. And then you go to your text and then you select Edo. And yeah, there you go. So that's the font. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Whatever questions you have, just put it right there. Like my video, subscribe and hit the bell button so that you could get notified anytime I put up a new tutorial or video so, till I come your way next time, it's your boy Tate saying peace.